I'm here, guys. I'm vlogging. Huh? <laughs> I said I'm vlogging. I need a shower. Okay. Do you want to go with me? I'm going to go to the Apple store, too. Sure. Because um, the Apple store, so I work in the World Trade Center. Have you been up there yet? I made my uncle this mug. It's starting to turn green again. Oh my god, I made this mug. When did I even make that? Like six. You were in grade? high school. No, I don't think I, I think I was in middle school. I didn't. We didn't make anything clay like this in high school. We're making food, guys. <laughs> I'm wrapping it up. This tiny ass. <laughs> We couldn't is. find a real pan, y'all. Are we gonna put it in that sheet or this thing? Um, I mean, this one's thicker. Maybe I feel this like one. that one's like. <laughs> it's going in. What is it? A timer. 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 Twenty five. Yeah, it's a twenty twenty five. Nice. We did it. Good job. We did it. <laughs> oh, I love Done. it. Done. I think I'm gonna change because it's hot. Anyways, um, I just recorded a whole clip and I fucking deleted it. I hate this camera sometimes. Anyways, I'm gonna wear this fit today. This cute little number with the low rise jeans and the sneakers just cause I have like my hat that I was wearing already. And also I like don't really feel like putting on makeup so the hat like covers my face, you know? Um, I might like do eyebrows and mascara or something to make myself look a little bit more presentable but I'm feeling very sleepy and yeah. This is where we're living at the moment. Uncle's gonna take a shower, and then we're gonna like eat the food, and then we're gonna go. He said we're gonna go, we have to go to the Apple store. It only says like three minutes until it's done. That's what I said, I said the nice and good things. Ooh, you hear me. Oh. Guys, my uncle is almost fluent in Spanish. See, we're supposed Spanish. to learn, we're supposed to know Spanish. I'm mad at my grandparents, his parents. Yeah. Cause they didn't teach my mom or like them. I work at a Mexican restaurant now, I'm a server. Mm. And um Eres una camarera. Yeah, they're all like How are you how are you Puerto Rican Spanish? You're not Boricua? You're not Boricua? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I can't. Do you know what Boricua like the the, the mancha plato? No. So I was telling this to your mom the other day, because I learned this from a Puerto Rican guy that the Mancha Platano is a birthmark that Puerto Ricans share. Um, and if you have one on your body, then you're Puerto Rican. Mm. And I was like, oh, cause you know what? I got this, and it's actually the shape of Puerto Rico that I got. <laughs> and I was saying that to your mom, and your mom was like, I got one on my butt. And where's your, where's your? I have a birthmark right here. She's Boricua. Where is it? Oh, there it is. See, yours is like mine. <gasps> <laughs> Food's done. Where's my phone at? I think it's in the living room. Why are you just touching it like that? Do you want 
drink my soul. <laughs> We stopped and got ice cream and donuts. What's wrong with us? Because that's my last time I ever have Krispy Kreme. Right. His favorite thing though, y'all, is actually Bojangles. I know. But they don't have Bojangles here. Definitely not gonna oh. have But anytime he would like come to Myrtle Beach, like literally from the airport, he would go straight to Bojangles and every time. Don't forget to give me Bojangles. No, we would just wait for you to come so it's fresh for you. My hair is looking a little crazy. Also, I got that blowout, y'all, in like last vlog, but really it was yesterday for me. And it went away. So I literally brushed it out because I did not care. What was it called again? The Oculus. The o inside the Oculus. That big like rib cage looking thing. Ugh. Also, like my purse is like shedding and it's like all over my back. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this to the bedroom. Might as well. Nah. Took a bunch. We're about to order food. I said I wanted pizza, but he had pizza. Did you say we we're gonna get pizza or no? What'd you say? We got like a whole thing of macarons for Pam, the lady that like we're staying with or whatever. And we decided we grabbed her like a little thank you note and we're gonna write thank you for letting us crash your apartment. Wait, can I show the camera the macaroons? Am I saying it right? Macaroon? Macaroon. Macaroon. Oh my god, you dripped all <gasps> Fuck. How does it, oh. Can you smash? Wait, is there one missing? That's what I was about to ask you. Why are you touching them? <laughs> it's fine. Oh, that's it. There yeah. definitely could have fit another. He could have fit more in there. He could have gave us look, some Look, guys, bonus. look at that assortment. Hey, what are we writing? Thanks for letting us crash your place. Love us. And my favorite. <laughs> Favorito. Favorita. Favorita. <laughs> 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 My favorita. <laughs> Love draw, you. Let's paint or something. Not paint her, but draw her something. Okay. Come. No, I don't want to draw it. Right. So you can write them. Enjoy the macaroons. You know what's crazy? I never even did a proper intro to this video. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Hi, guys. Welcome or welcome back. What's up? <laughs> what's up, YouTube? <laughs> That's crazy how I went this whole day without giving you guys an intro. My name's Alana, if you don't know, if you do. I'm here to try out for the NBA Brooklyn Nets, dance team Brooklyn Nets. Um, auditions are tomorrow at 10 a.m. at St. Joseph's College in Brooklyn. Well, really, I'm in Manhattan right now, but auditions are in Brooklyn. I'm just staying in Manhattan. It is one day audition, well, really it's four days if I don't make it past the day tomorrow. Put that on my finger. So we're excited. We just did a bunch of running around. I, I'm sure that it was a very choppy mess today. But I'm about to shower because you guys, it's so nasty and hot and I'm sticky because my ice cream is everywhere and I have residue from my Goodwill bag and it's just a mess. It's just a mess. I think we're gonna order food. I'm not sure I said pizza, but I don't know if you want pizza because oh, you just had it. Did we, are we saying, did you say pizza or no? I think mean, we could. But you just had it. Yeah, I just had it. Well, I don't think we I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna have it New York style in a long time, so might as well. Alright. Okay. Oh my god, my battery's about to die. We're about to order pizza. I'm gonna take a shower. Okay. Alright, I'll see y'all later whenever my camera is not dead. Oh, this looks so good. It's a little bit later. 41, 42. Me and my uncle are over here doing Duolingo. How's it going over there? Uncle? I finished editing last week's weekly vlog. It'll already be up by the time you guys see this video, but it's downloading to my iPad and after that I'm gonna upload it because it's gonna go up on Sunday, so in two days. But yeah, tomorrow's a big day. 
But we ate some pizza, we ate some more of those macarons or whatever. But Pam, I love Pamela. She's gonna turn on American Horror Stories. Are we still watching American Horror Stories? Okay. We're about to watch that. subway right now heading to Brooklyn but yeah just walked up pretty sure I gotta wait in line <gasps> where's the line this is the line I don't know where's that other girl going holy shit this is a long line hey, holy shit probably when I go up there maybe I do oh my god stop I have to record how many people are here eight hours later y'all Obviously, didn't record much because like we're not really allowed to record in there, but guess who fucking made it to day two? <sighs> I felt very, very, very confident today, so I had, you know, I had that good feeling I was going to make it, but I was going to get a cab, but I'm just going to take the subway. I got this city map app that like literally walks me through everything. Let's see if I can be a big girl, you know? But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be very fucking sore tomorrow. My feet hurt because we did heels. I have, I'm gonna have blisters, my neck, my groin, like everything. I'm in pain, but it's fine. My uncle is actually having like a little party right now. They literally started at four, it's four or five. Basically, how it worked was like, it, there was like two, I think over 200 people in that room, guys. <laughs> so they started out with like technique shit, and then they, um, 
we did like across the floor and then they automatically like did cuts right there. They literally stood in front of you and either they handed you a number or you packed your shit and like left. <gasps> Are you kidding? So then I got, I got my number. My number was 20. I think we're getting new numbers tomorrow, but my number was 20. After that, we learned the heels dance. She like literally made up that heels dance like right there. And then she taught it to us maybe in like 20, 30 minutes. What, what sucked was like waiting like to go. I was number 20. I was like one of the first people to go because for me personally, like when I learned something and I got it, I want to go in like the first, second, third, fourth group, first five groups because sitting there like anticipating, it sucks. You guys, you dancers that watch my stuff, you guys know how it is in auditions. When you got to go last, some people like going last. I don't. Okay. If I start practicing the dance too much, I'm going to forget it. Okay. We did it five at a time. They did callbacks. Okay. So they like basically called a whole bunch of people to do it again. I didn't get a call back. I was like, oh shit, got kind of nervous. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely tooting my own, my own horn. I did that heels dance, like I fucking did that shit. So I knew I was like, I did good. But I didn't get a call back and I was like, fuck. Cause in my head I was thinking like, okay, they're calling the good people back. But they were literally calling like anybody back. You know what I'm saying? They gave us papers. Gotta be here back. Gotta be here back. Be here at 10 a.m. again. I'm about to go. I have to be here at 10 a.m. again tomorrow. And they specifically want like midriff and leg showing. So basically they want like crop top and shorts. I don't know if I had any other outfits. And they were, and one of the judges was actually like, she works with Block, like talent agency. And she was really happy up. Like you have to look the part. And that's why I was so stressed about my outfits. Ugh. I'm very excited, very blessed feeling very proud of myself very confident and also my body just fucking hurts but we're walking to the subway right now i gotta make sure this shit stays open because i'm taking the subway by myself for the first time i told my uncle i was getting a cab but i'm not anymore <laughs> guys when I get home but like I'm like just like ready to shower and rest I need to ice my feet and my neck everything's hurting hi all right that's my cute bye oh my god okay I made it back home guys took the subway by myself period so I went and stopped at Walgreens on the way because I needed a new foundation brush I also grabbed like two granola bars that I can bring with me tomorrow because like we literally had no breaks like to eat food we just had like a little mini break so and I literally have not eaten since this morning I had one donut and it was like eight something when I had it it is now five o'clock p.m. but my uncle made this earlier it's basically steak and it's like a corn and rice like risotto or something so good mm. I literally needed to eat. I was gonna pad out. The only thing that I'm like kind of thinking about right now is like my outfits. Cause they want like midriff and leg showing. And one of my outfits was those fucking pants I bought, but I can't wear them. But tomorrow, I mean, my other two outfits I had was, um, was those like black shirts with the lines and the tank top. And then the other one was like that white, like long sleeve shirt and like the, the kappa shorts. And then I also brought an extra pair of biker shorts. Well, I'm gonna eat and chill. I get out here. Not me straight up lying to y'all. I told y'all I was gonna get some rest, but there is an H&M and an Urban Outfitters like really close. Um, I only brought two extra pairs of shorts and I just, I need shorts. They want legs showing. I'm not gonna show up to a fucking audition where the same shorts that's gross so we're gonna go shopping really quick not me exploring by myself I'm getting a feel for the city i need to stop okay i'm sorry i feel like this vlog is gonna be so choppy but i don't really know what's going on it's like a big like what if you know what i'm saying a big surprise but yeah i'm excited my feet hurt really bad so we're not gonna do much shopping i'm literally going to Urban Outfitters and H&M if I can't find anything at Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters is expensive. Okay, so if I can't find anything there, then we'll go to H&M.
I'm about to go in there with my camera, let's see. DK! DK! Yeah. It's just YouTube in general. I guess, yeah. Hi to the world. Hello. Hello, world. <laughs> you said what? Are we on? Yes, we're recording, we're live. I forgot anything there. Anyways, I got these socks because I needed more. I literally went to go get shorts and I ended up getting mostly tops. I got these shorts. This is from H and M, by the way. These are actually kid shorts, like baby girl shorts. And then I got this, which I'm probably not gonna wear anytime here because it's way too hot. But it's like a long sleeve workout shirt. It's a crop top. Yeah, it's cute. And I'm surprised I got these, but they were actually pretty flattering. I hate this color, but I needed some shorts. I got a bunch of different colors. I don't know why, because I need to like wear this together. But I got this top. It looks really small, but it's really stretchy. Yeah. And it opens up really cute. Love the color. And then I got this in this blue color. I wish I got this in black so I can wear it with more of the stuff I bought, but I like the blue. But also stretchy. Yeah, but see, like, the blue helps you be extra. Yeah, bright. And it... Good morning. Almost 8 o'clock on Sunday, August 7th. I just took a shower. I'll show you really quick. And then I'm wearing this black sports bra and then I'm wearing this cropped white shirt over top. And then I'm gonna wear my Harachis. Y'all, I can like barely move my neck. I'm so fucking sore. But I basically have like an hour to get ready. I have to redo my hair and then do my makeup. And then I'm just gonna go. See you guys later. The next day. Oh my god. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Today's now Monday. Um, and I barely vlogged yesterday. Not even. Unfortunately, I did not make it to the end of the audition. Um, I got cut yesterday. Yesterday it was hip hop. And like we did technique. I did get cut sad face but I'm staying very positive about it um and I'm definitely going to be coming back next year um I feel I felt very confident I felt like I nailed that choreo and I felt like I like you know did what I had to do but that means I just need to work harder and you know do more so yeah um yesterday like when I got home I was like I was a little bit upset but also like my body hurts so bad I can barely move my neck my neck is like rock hard my knees are like bruised up and got Marley, not Marley burn, got floor burn. Yeah, I literally came here, I showered, and I laid on this couch like all night. So yeah, I had to feel, I had to feel my, my sadness, but I'm here. Um, I don't really know what we're gonna do today. My uncle's like working. I think I might go like thrift shopping and whatnot, I wanted to do that, and I'm also like really wanting to get a tattoo. I really like to get tattoos like when I travel and stuff. But yeah, um, I like just woke up maybe like an hour ago. I'm also trying to hit upload last week's weekly vlog. You guys should already see it by the time this video goes up. 
This was supposed to go up yesterday. I usually upload on Sundays, but then I forgot about it yesterday until like late at night. And I was like, shit, it's okay, I can do it tomorrow. And then I go to do it today and it wasn't even uploaded. Oh, also I was supposed to be leaving Wednesday night, but now I'm leaving tomorrow night. So my flight tomorrow is at 6.40. Um, it was either me have to like, you know, pay for a hotel for the night and then be by myself and leave on Wednesday or just just leave a day early, which, you know, I don't mind. It'd be different if I made it like past to the audition. Um, then obviously I would have had to get a hotel, but um, I didn't make it, like I already said. All right, I'll see you guys when I like, you know, start doing stuff with my day. Her video yeah, mine is now uploaded. Got okay. me a little bacon, egg, and cheese. Mmm. Oh, I like how the eggs cooked like that. Yeah, they like bust. Yeah. I got an OJ, and he had to scrape his teeth. <laughs> After I ate my breakfast, I just went ahead and got ready. I'm gonna give you a little fit check. I'm wearing this fit today. We do that, and then we're going to, or I'm gonna go to Buffalo Exchange. I think I'm doing this as my tag, guys. I think I'm gonna get it right here on Zedibs. Fuck. Ribs hurt. I'm scared. I was just gonna do like five, six, seven, eight on the back of my arm. I don't know. I might, I might just do that. The five, six, seven, eight is like way more simplistic and it's definitely gonna be cheaper. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out though. We're going to this place called um, New York Tattoo Collective. It's literally down the street. Yeah. I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, is anybody here? But yeah. Got it? So I had like two options. Um, I wanted to either just do like five, six, seven, eight, like on the back of my arm. Um, but I also I like this, and I wanted to kind of do it like on my rib cage. I just wanted to kind of get like a price for it. A yeah. Um, price for it. So. so no, you're fine. Um. Something like that on the ribs. I'd probably do for like probably like one sixty. If you wanted to do both, um, how did you want the numbers? Um, just like next to each other, like here. I don't really, I didn't like have a specific font, like, but like not like, but kind of like dainty almost. But not, not like, not like the like old English style. No. Like, just like yeah. Just kind of thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you wanted to do both of those, I would do like for like two hundred. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. I have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's really easy. You think? I think I'm gonna do both. Okay. Um, I'm so indecisive, so I mean, in terms of both is it that? I think I'll do that. If I did two, would it be same? Okay, guys, I have options. This. Well, okay, I'm doing this on my rib regardless, but I'm trying to decide between this on my arm or this. See? The four before is like the angel numbers. Oop. Who means? Yes. Mm. Mm. So what I'm gonna do now. Double dance tattoo sizes. You in the backyard of your old farm in the summer. Where we learn to love each other Won't you love
Guys, we're finally out. <laughs> Good. We're walking to Buffalo Exchange right now. And then, honestly, we just gotta go back home. Because I really need to start editing this vlog. Hey, Luke. How's it going, man? I just wanted to check in with you and see how things are going on your side. Uh, yeah, I really think I'm gonna marry this girl. Uh, seems like it's for real this time. Exchange. I got this cute little long sleeve Brandy Melville top. Just something simple, and I really like the design on the neck for it. And I also got these little comfy, oh, but they're backwards. Just these little like comfy beige shorts. Um, you know, just comfy clothes. Well, that's really all that I grabbed that I actually like. I did try on like a bunch of other stuff. I tried on some jean shorts, um, I tried on some dresses, but just didn't really fit right. I was also looking for a pair of loafers, but I can't find any cheap ones. I don't really want to splurge on some Doc Martin loafers just yet. I have to repack all of this because my flight's tomorrow. Um, I just, you know, want to make sure everything fits. Excuse me. But yeah, I'm literally just going to chill and edit for a little bit. This vlog is probably not what you expected and it's definitely not what i expected it to be i expected i was going to be vlogging a little bit more and i'm sorry i've been a little bit slack with vlogging but you know i just had a lot of stuff going on but i'm here content's coming soon when i get home i'm going to be like packing and moving and whatnot i'm very excited also i now have six tattoos guys but if you want a tattoo tour let me know I'll do it in next week's video vlog also i just want to say monet and ari are fucking in new york and I literally at the time I'm like, what if I run into Monet and Ari? Oh, Monet, if you're ever watching this, I love you. I'm gonna edit. I might try to pack some of this later. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll talk to you guys later. Hi. It's a couple hours later. We're about to leave to go get sushi. I love sushi. I'm just doing my hair. I didn't change or anything because it didn't feel like it. We're going to this place called Yama. And it's like right down the street, like a really close walk, which I'm down with. Because you know how many of you I don't really feel like walking a lot. My body's still super sore. Oh my god, also, guys. Okay. So let me tell you guys something. Growing up, like in dance and stuff, I have never been a tumbler, okay? I don't know how to do that handspring. I don't flip. I don't do kip-ups or headstand kip-ups or anything like that, okay? And I already, you know, knew that there was going to be an athletic day for the Brooklyn Nets audition, you know? That's the reason why I came, yeah. So, I like all day today, I was like looking at their Instagram because I was like, I just want to see like what they, you know, what they were going to do today. So finally they post some stuff. They were like just now starting. Like, it's late. It's like seven, I think. I don't know, anyways. And I look at like, the little preview of this combo, y'all. They're doing headstand kip-ups, regular kick 
kick ups, kip ups, but back handsprings. <sighs> and let me tell you, I'm happy I got cut yesterday and not today because I would have been fucking embarrassed if I was just standing there and I was like, I can't do it. You understand how, how wrong they would have looked at me? Oh, they would have been like, oh, then you need to leave. Oh, I would have been so butthurt and so embarrassed. I was butthurt yesterday. I was like, no way I got cut in hip hop. Like, that's my style, you know? But, but that, that would have been pain. I really would have cried. I would have been like, really? You gonna cut me because I can't don't? I can dance. Just have me in the back doing some old, little hips or something, I don't know. Anyways, all I know is that I gotta work on my tumbling and I know if any of my dance friends or dance teachers or families watching this, they're gonna be like, we told you. We told you to work on your tumbling. I'm not a tumbler. I don't do that shit, okay? I don't wanna hear I told you so, cause I, you know. Guys, I'm bloated. Anyways, we just got done eating food. Now we're going back. I have to repack my things tonight. Gotta make it work. Look at this night view from her little deck. Anyways, we just got back. I gotta, I gotta do something about this. I have to take a shower. The reason why I put a question mark at the end of that is because I got second skin on these tattoos. I'm sure you can shower. You think that you can shower with the second skin on? Yeah, Just I think maybe you're not supposed to. But we can't take it off for the next couple days, right? Right. You just leave it on. Just leave it on? Okay. Cool. Not me looking absolutely crazy. Okay, hi guys. I'm back home. It's actually like two days since I got home. Last thing you guys saw was me packing up my stuff. Yeah, I don't go really have an outro. I didn't vlog like me, you know, leaving like the next day. I'm so happy I didn't though, because you guys, okay. So my flight was supposed to be at 6.40 p.m. Okay, I was supposed to get back home by nine o'clock. I said I was supposed to land at 8.40, right? So one, I had to go to the airport early because my Uncle Willie left. And then Pamela, you know, the lady we were staying with, she had like a doctor's appointment at 3. So I had to call a cab. I called a cab around like 2.30. So I got to the airport at like 3.30, guys. Okay. So I already had to sit at the airport for a couple hours, which I was like, okay, like whatever. But then the flight got pushed to like 7. Then it got pushed to 10. You guys, this flight kept getting pushed back. You guys, I did not get on the plane until... I think it was like 12.30. Yo, my flight got pushed back from 6.40 to 12.30 in the morning. Like, we thought that our plane was going to get canceled. I went to the airport, it was so mad. It was so hot too, the AC was not working. It was so hot, like we were all just so fucking ready to go home. Oh my God, so I ended up not getting home till three in the morning. But yeah, but now I'm back home. Um, I started packing and whatnot. The next couple videos are gonna be, you know, a little bit of a moving series. <laughs> Subscribe, all my socials are in the description. Leave a like, please give me video requests. Um, it's much appreciated. Um, I love you guys.
I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.